Exoplanet TOI 1452b could be the first discovered water world in the cosmos. Water is considered the basic requirement for organic life. Where there is clean, flowing, oxygenated water, there is very likely to be some form of life. But it's not just the fact that TOI 1452b could be the long-awaited alien world with the first discovered life forms that is fascinating. This planet has some other exciting features, and we're going to take a closer look at them now. Before we start, we would like to ask you for your contribution at the end of the video. Write us a comment that fits the topic and tell us a bit about yourself and your connection to astronomy. Our subscribers' contributions will get a heart and we will pin your important contribution at the top so that it's easy to read for everyone. Make sure you've already subscribed, like the video, and mention both at the top of your comment. We start now with the exciting discovery of ExoWorld TOI 1452b. A water world 100 light years away. Exoplanet TOI 1452b is located only about 100 light years from us in the constellation Dragon. It was discovered by a group of researchers from the Université de Montréal in Canada. The team was evaluating data from the TESS mission and came across the TOI 1452 system. NASA's TESS Space Telescope is the follow-up project to the Kepler mission. Both telescopes were built solely to detect planets outside our solar system. TESS's discoveries carry the main name, TOI, for TESS Objects of Interest. This is followed by the catalog number, and at the very end, astronomers append another letter if it's an exoplanet. TOI 1452 designates the star which also takes the letter A. The first exoplanet discovered in a system then gets the letter B. The parent star TOI 1452 was long perceived from Earth as a medium bright star. Only the latest technology allowed the exciting realization that TOI 1452 is in fact two small double stars. Both are not very luminous on their own and resemble each other. They are two red dwarfs, much smaller than our Sun, orbiting each other at a distance of only 97 astronomical units. This is about two and a half times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. The exoplanet TOI 1452b most likely orbits the slightly larger star of the pair. The planet was discovered using the transit method. In this method, researchers measure tiny obscurations of the star's light. Planets, which have no light of their own, only become visible when they pass in front of their star. Thanks to TESS, these minimal changes in light are visible. If the planet is relatively close to its star, it will periodically pass in front of its star. In the case of TOI 1452b, it quickly became clear that it returns to the same position every 11 days. Thus, the planet orbits its sun in only 11 days, which at the same time corresponds to one year in this world. Despite this proximity to its star, TOI 1452b is in the habitable zone. Despite its proximity, the star TOI 1452 gives off only enough light and heat to its planet so that the climate could be moderate and life-friendly. Basic Conditions for Water Occurrence on TOI 1452b So what, of all things, indicates the presence of water on this world? Well, first the planet must be close enough to its star to get enough heat and far enough away to not be so hot that water would evaporate immediately. It also must not be too far out in the system or the water would freeze into ice. Next, of course, some parameters must be correct that allow conclusions to be drawn about the presence of water. The Canadian researchers took the data from the TESS Space Telescope and further decoded the signal with a special camera at the Observatoire du Mont-Mégantic. 
This first revealed that TOI 1452b is an object about 70% larger than Earth. Using radial velocity methods and measurements of the light spectrum, researchers were able to determine more details about the planet's mass, density, and presumed composition. The radial velocity method detects minimal gravitational interactions that occur between the planet and star. The orbits of planets cause stars to oscillate slightly. Ellipses and frequencies emanate from these motions, providing further clues to the size and composition of the planet. The second important clue is minimal changes in the star's light spectrum. From a distance, light moving toward the observer is blue. Moving away from the observer, the waves become wide and red. Special computer programs can detect minimal changes in the light waves and simulate the presumed celestial body in this case, the exoplanet TOI 1452b. It turned out that the exoplanet has 4.8 times more mass than our Earth. The density is most likely 5.6 grams per cubic centimeter. So TOI 1452b is similar to Earth, which has a density of 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Density provides information about the average mass in a given volume. In this case, one cubic centimeter. It's clear that this density is not the same everywhere, but indicates an average value. A cubic centimeter of Earth measured on a beach naturally has a completely different density than the same cubic centimeter measured in a deep layer of rock. Nevertheless, researchers can make other important statements about the average density of a celestial body. For example, it becomes clear whether the planet is a rocky planet, a gas planet, or an ice planet. The gas giants have the thinnest density. With us in the solar system is Saturn, the fluffiest planet. The highest density, on the other hand, is the small rocky planet, Mercury. In the case of TOI 1452b, the Earth-like density pointed to an exciting thing. After all, the planet is almost twice the size of Earth and has a similar density. So TOI 1452 must be much lighter. But it's not a gas planet so close to its star, and it's too heavy for that. Rather, this lightness points to a rocky planet, which has very high portions of metals. TOI 1452b could be a rocky planet interspersed with light metals. Measurement techniques provide scientists with accurate diagrams suggesting similarities to terrestrial elements and known compositions of other planets. Exploration of our own solar system showed that these calculations have an amazing hit rate from a distance. Meanwhile, in the case of celestial bodies in our immediate neighborhood, probes have been able to confirm such calculations, but this is not always the case. Sometimes, the measurement data of the probes on site also produced some surprises. So, we cannot be so completely sure about this information about TOI 1452b. Especially in the field of exoplanet exploration, much must therefore remain in the realm of speculation until we can one day send probes to these planets or an even better telescope delivers better data. The probes will probably take a while, but a telescope capable of finding out details about exoplanets is already in operation. TOI 1452b, a humid and watery world? The researchers at Université de Montréal in Canada found out something else about TOI 1452b, which excited the whole world of astronomers and cosmologists. On the basis of the measuring data, indications of large occurrences of water on this planet resulted. Either TOI 1452b has an atmosphere with a very high humidity, or this planet is a world whose surface is covered with approximately one-third water. This would make TOI 1452b the first very likely water world among all exoplanets discovered so far. Thanks to the Kepler and TESS missions, researchers have now identified about 5,000 exoplanets, 
and by 2022, not a single water world was among them. Some of the planets did provide indications of the presence of water, but the measurement results were never as clear and abundant as with TOI 1452b. For comparison, our Earth is covered by about 71% water, and that is even a little bit more than two-thirds. Water, along with oxygen and carbon, is considered a basic building block of life. On Earth, all life probably began in water. Around 3.5 billion years ago, the first single-celled organisms formed in the primordial oceans. Later, more complex mollusks, plants, snails, fish, and finally, even giant creatures like the dinosaurs and complex creatures like us humans developed from these beginnings. The probability that further life exists in the universe is very high. We know only a tiny section of the universe so far. 5,000 discovered exoplanets also do not mean that there are only 5,000 more planets outside our system. The number only reflects the worlds that we have been able to identify so far. At present, we can observe, with our technical possibilities, about 50 billion galaxies. And every single one of these galaxies contains several hundred billion stars, and every single one of these stars can be orbited by several planets. The number of presumed planets in the universe known so far is several trillion, a number hardly imaginable for the human brain. It's really improbable that we are the only living beings in a universe of this size. Researchers have never found two stars or two planets that are exactly the same, but there are similarities, patterns, and repetitions of certain parameters. So, somewhere there must be the Earth-like planets, and almost certainly living beings similar to us and to other life forms that exist or once existed on Earth. Will James Webb bring clarity? Currently, all hopes of soon getting more reliable data on exoplanets and possibly inhabited worlds around us lie with the new James Webb Space Telescope. Located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the new telescope peers deeper and more accurately into space than any of its predecessors. Thanks to the great distance, not only is the telescope's range better, Placed in space and on the far side of Earth from the Sun, James Webb's eye will not be blinded by light pollution from Earth or by sunlight. Researchers have been working for more than a decade on ultra-sensitive measurement technology that should finally be able to scan the surroundings of exoplanets in a way never before achieved. Thanks to the brand new NEARIS and NEARSPEC spectrometers, James Webb has the ability to detect the mass temperature, and chemical composition of even the most distant objects. When astronomers will let James Webb look towards, the TOI 1452 system is unknown at this time. However, it's certain that the day will come, and then we will learn more about this interesting planet. Now, we'd love to hear your take on this unique discovery. Do you think TOI 1452b can really be a water world? Or how do you imagine the planet? Do you have any idea who or what could live there? Let us know, and we'll be happy to receive your contribution. But don't forget to mention your subscription, if you've already subscribed, and to like the video. We thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you back at Simply Space soon.